Have you ever met a person that is completely and utterly magnetic? They walk into a room and all eyes are on them. Everybody wants to hang out with them. Everybody wants their attention. Wherever they go, everybody seems to fall in love with them. And no matter who they desire, they always get them. No matter who they fall in love with, that person always wants them back and is crazy about them. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can become that person. Hello, my beautiful superheroes. Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. If you're new here, hi, I'm Scarlett Grace. I'm a manifestation coach, and I'm here to help you manifest your heart's desires and the life that's better than your wildest dreams. In this video, I'm going to show you how to become utterly magnetic and have your specific person, no matter who they are, get completely obsessed and addicted to you. If you ever wanted to become an incredibly magnetic person, one of those people that not just get their specific person every single time, but they also have everybody wanting to please them, wanting to hang out with them, wanting to give them what they want, then this video is for you. But before we jump into this, if you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the Law of Assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings, then subscribe and hit the bell icon. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person that was recently updated with more content, meditations, subliminals, bonuses, and all kinds of cool things to help you manifest your specific person even faster. And if you need some extra help or my personal advice for your situation, coaching is open. And don't forget to download all the free meditations I have prepared for you. You will find the links for all of those things in the description below. Alright, so let's talk about how you can become totally and completely magnetic to everybody and how to get your specific person obsessed with you and addicted to you. The first step to making that happen is to decide that you are that kind of person. And I know this sounds obvious, but it is very, very, very important. Your decision, when it comes to manifesting, has incredible power. Now, the reason you need to decide that you are this person is because you cannot manifest this kind of result by hoping it will happen. You cannot manifest this kind of result by thinking, oh, I hope my specific person will get obsessed with me, or I hope that people will like me, or I hope that people will find me magnetic and attractive. No, you cannot manifest it from hoping, because when you hope, that means that deep down you don't believe that you are this kind of person. You don't believe you necessarily have it in you. And you start from the perspective, oh, I don't believe that I have it in me and that's why I have to use all those techniques and hope that they will work, hope that they will do something to change who I am. And that's not true. You decide who you get to be in this reality. This is your reality, baby. This is yours. You are God of this reality. You are the ultimate authority in this reality. You are the king or the queen of this reality. It is yours. And your decision in your reality is law. If you decide something is this way, it will be this way because you decided it. And you can see that happen with your decisions that are not good for you. Like you decide people don't like me and suddenly people don't treat you so well. If this is a story you've been telling yourself all your life, this is the result that you're going to get from your reality over and over and over and over again. Because your word in your reality is absolute law. So the first step is to decide that right now, from now on, you are this person. It doesn't matter if you have been this person in the past or if you have been a wallflower, completely ignored, or if you thought that you were unattractive or that you don't draw attention or that you're a boring person because this is something that I hear from people a lot. Like, I am a boring person. I'm just not interesting. Who says that? You are the authority in this reality. Only you decide if you're an interesting person or not. And this is not about changing your behavior or changing your habits or changing your interests to become a more interesting person. This is simply about making the decision that right here, right now, I am a completely magnetic person. I am the kind of person that people get addicted to because I am amazing. I am the kind of person that everybody wants to hang out with. I am the kind of person that everybody wants to be friends with. I am the kind of person that everybody wants to please. 
I am the kind of person that everybody falls in love with. This is who I am. This is who I'm going to be from now on. End of story. I've made my ruling. I've made my decision and nothing, nothing is going to change that. Because I am God of my reality and what I say is law. Right now, at this very moment, I want you to decide that you are the most magnetic person the world has ever seen. Nothing about you is ever boring. In fact, everything you do is the most interesting thing in the world. You are the most interesting and fascinating and magnetic person anybody has ever met. It doesn't matter if the person meeting you is the 90-year-old woman who lives down the street or if it is a rock star. You are still the most interesting person they have ever met. You are more interesting than that rock star. You are more interesting and fascinating and magnetic than anybody, no matter what their job is, no matter how famous they are, no matter how much money they have. They are still fascinated and enchanted by you because you are utterly amazing. Step number two. Now that you've made your decision that you from now on are going to be utterly fascinating and everybody will be addicted to you, including your specific person, what we need to do is we need to embody that new version of you. And in order to embody this new version of you, we need to determine what you used to do in the past that led you to not getting the results that you wanted so that you can better understand how to embody this new version of you now. Now, if what I just said sounds a bit complicated, I promise you it's not. It's very simple. Here's what I need you to do. I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen or open a file on your computer. And I want you to think back to different social situations, situations involving your specific person. So basically, the old version of you wasn't getting the results that you wanted. And that's why you clicked to watch this video, right? I want you to think back to specific situations where you weren't getting what you wanted from people in general, in social situations, or from your specific person. And pick a situation to start with, and I want you to ask yourself, what is it that I wanted in this situation? Write that down. And what was it that, that I got in this situation? Write that also down. And then I want you to ask yourself, what were the thoughts I was having in that situation and what did I do based on those thoughts? So to give you an example, you are in a social situation and there is a person that you want to be introduced to, but what you were thinking was, oh, I'm not interesting enough, I don't know how to talk to them, I don't know how to draw their attention, maybe I'm going to bother them if I speak to them and you miss your chance because you never walked up to that person to talk to them. So what you were thinking was that you're not magnetic, you're not interesting enough, they will be bothered if you talk to them, and the behavior that that led to was not talking to them, and that's how you didn't get what you wanted. So after you write that down for that situation, I want you to ask yourself, if I could go back to that situation right now, that I am absolutely fascinating and magnetic, what would my thoughts be? Because now you are your new self. So you couldn't have been thinking, oh, I'm not interesting enough and I'm going to bother them. You can never bother them because remember, you are absolutely fascinating and magnetic. Everybody wants to hang out with you. Everybody wants to get to know you. Everybody wants to give you what you want, right? So if you went back to that situation, you wouldn't be having the same thoughts. You would be thinking how amazing you are and how everybody will be lucky if you walk up and talk to them. So write that down, write it down, that if I could go back to that situation, my thoughts would be different. My thoughts would be this and this and this. And if my thoughts were this and this and this, then this is what I would have done. So if my thoughts were, I'm actually fascinating and this person will be lucky that I'm about to walk up to them and talk to them because everybody wants to get to know me, the action that you would take would be to walk up and talk to them confidently without any insecurities, any fears that you're bothering them, any fears that they don't want to talk to you or that they will reject you. This cannot happen. You're the most fascinating person, right? So you would act differently. Write that down and then examine a different situation, maybe with your specific person. And do that with as many situations as you can find as they come to mind. 
if you had a problematic situation, a painful situation that had to do with people at any point in your life, even if it was 10 or 15 years ago, it doesn't matter. Revisit it now and ask those questions. And the reason we do this is because this way you get a clear idea about how you embodied the old identity. All those thoughts that you write down about what you were thinking when that thing was happening, this is your old identity. And all the things that you did or didn't do back then were based on those thoughts that was your old identity. So you know what to stop doing. You need to stop thinking those specific thoughts and you will notice that the same kinds of thoughts will probably pop up over and over and over again in those experiences. Because this is your identity. You have a few thoughts that sum up the old identity. It may take an hour or two to write down all those events and examine them, but you only have to do it once. After you do it, you will know exactly how to become the new version of you. So when you've written all those things, all those experiences, you can sum them up so you can have a piece of paper that says the old thoughts that I used to have, because again, you will notice the same thoughts or similar thoughts popping up over and over and over again. That's your old identity. Write those thoughts down on a piece of paper and under that, write the behaviors. What kinds of things did you do in the past that match the old identity and what kinds of things in the past you didn't do because you were afraid, because you were self-conscious. That kind of behavior also matches the old identity. So just to give you an example so you can understand what I mean, maybe it's not something that you did in the past. It's something that you didn't do that caused the problem. You thought, for example, oh, I cannot ask for this because why would they give it to me? And that's why you never even asked to see if you're going to give that thing to you, whatever it is. It may be a flight upgrade, it may be a free drink or whatever. So this matches your old identity. And if you have it all summed up on a piece of paper, it is easy to know what to avoid. I'm not going to think those thoughts ever again. And I'm also not going to do those behaviors ever again, because those are my old self. And on another piece of paper, you sum up the thoughts that come up from your new identity, the thoughts that you would be having if you revisited those painful events of the past as the new you. Those are the thoughts that sum up your new identity. And underneath that, you write down the things that you would do differently if you went back to those events as your new identity. Like, I would have asked for what I wanted in that occasion. I would talk to those people. I would ask this person to exchange numbers. So you now have two lists. One sums up your old identity, and that's the things to stop doing. And one sums up your new identity, and that's the things to start doing, the thoughts to start having, and the actions to start taking. So when you have that, you're ready to move to step number three. In step number three, you embody this. Now you know exactly what to embody. So your goal from now on is to start thinking more and more like the thoughts that you wrote in your second list. The thoughts that are your new self, the confident, magnetic, amazing self that people get addicted to. And to start acting based on those thoughts. And the thing to stop doing is stop doing the things on the first list. So embodying means you start acting like this new version of you. So from now on, in every situation, I want you to have this question in mind. How can I be this new version of me in this situation? And this is not specific to your specific person or the quote-unquote big things in your life. This is in any situation. I want you to practice it with tiny things first because that's how we integrate a new identity. If you try to be your new identity in a super, super, super challenging emotionally to you event, like a huge party, for example, or the first time you meet your specific person at a social event after not seeing them for a year, that may not go so well because you haven't had any practice integrating this new identity. So you need to start practicing it in small ways. Like you go to the bakery. I want you to go to the bakery as your new identity. You are confident. You are magnetic. You are fascinating. I want you to have the feelings associated with that identity when you walk into the bakery. And I want you to walk and talk and smile or whatever as your new identity. And you will notice a shift in your experience with people, even in tiny events like that. If you go to do your nails, 
get a manicure. I want you to do that as your new version, as the utterly fascinating version of you that everybody wants to hang out with, that everybody gets addicted to. I want you to go have your nails done as the new identity. If you're going to go and uh, buy a pair of shoes, I want you to do it as your new identity. If you go to have a cup of coffee with friends, I want you to go as your new identity. Think and feel as your new identity. Do the things that this new version of you would do. The more you do that, the more you consciously decide to embody this new identity in small things and small interactions in your life, the more you become that version of you. And the more you become that version of you, the more natural and easy it will be for you to do the same thing, to embody this new fascinating identity of yours in quote-unquote bigger events, like a challenging social event, an event where you are going to see your ex, an event where the old version of you would feel self-conscious or would dread to go to because you weren't fascinating back then and that's what led to a negative experience in the past. The more you embody the new version of you in small ways, multiple times per day, consciously, the easier it is to embody that new version of you in those more challenging events. And you will notice immediate feedback. The moment you start practicing being the new you, you will get feedback from people. You will notice that people smile to you more. You will notice that people want to talk to you. You will notice that people will start giving you things just because they like you. By becoming this version of you, you will get everybody addicted to you, including your specific person. But if you want to target your specific person specifically so that they think and feel and do exactly what you want them to think and feel and do, I have a meditation you can use to achieve exactly that. And if you pair that, With this identity shift that I explained how to do in this video, it will work amazingly well. So go do that meditation now. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.